Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. We're here at Drager's Clubhouse, and what I want to show you today is a truck we just got in. It's a 1988 one-ton dually, and it's four-wheel drive. It's got a 454, it's automatic. Of course, you got power steering and power disc brakes on the front, and you got good-looking wheels on the back, and you got uh, good-looking hubcaps on the front. Looks like a truck, acts like a truck, drives like a truck. I mean, it's a neat piece. Uh, this was a city-owned truck, and so it's had really good care. Couldn't find anything in the way of rust on it or anything like that, and uh, a good friend of mine bought it and uh, from the city, and he basically spent a lot of money on it, making it as nice as it is, and, and it's just a, it's a good, clean truck. I like driving it. It's, it's a fun piece. One of the few chips that it found is right there. I mean, this all looks good. The grill looks good. Bumper is real nice on here. A little spot in the rubber there. But other than that, it's, it's not much. This, it's really clean across here. It looks real good, the hood and everything. This side just looks just like the uh, driver's side. Very, very good. A little dirt there. Wheels, of course, look great. Mirrors all look good. I mean, this, this truck, the windshield looks real good in here and everything. I mean, I, I looked this thing over. There's a little spot right there, but it's not much of anything. Yeah, just a little dirt there. Another gas door, and of course your fender's here for the uh, duels. We got you got mud flaps on here, so it's it's a good-looking truck. The back end, of course, I mean it all looks beautiful. Uh, big rear bumper here. We got the big square hitch. We also have electric brakes on this truck, but there is no plug. The wires are down under here, I noticed, but it needs a new plug for the so you'd have electric brakes. And it's got a GMC uh, tailgate in it. Other than that, everything else looks real good. It's incredible, this bed. I was told that this is the original paint on here. Whether it is or not, I don't know for sure. But you look at the, the uh, inner fenders, they're perfect. There's not a dent in them. When do you see that happen? And same on the inside in here, there's, they're not dented up. This truck has not been used very heavily in its life. On this Driver's side, of course, we got our fender flares here for the duels, and these tires are in really good shape here on here. Good looking wheels on here, so you got to, it got to, sets it off nice. And of course, the striping helps on this truck a lot, so it looks good. Here's your gas door. So, everything looks real good. There's a little spot in the paint right there, I see. Overall, this thing looks real good. I mean, it's really got a nice straight body on here. Oh, that's just a little dirt right there. Again, you got the good looking wheels on here. Those are actually probably wheel covers is what those are, but they match with the back. To open up the tailgate, just reach right here, pull that down. And of course, you know, on these tailgates, you can lower them by undoing these sides on here. So you can lower it down lower. This one won't go down lower because of the bumper on it, but uh, sometimes that's handy getting things in and out. Well, there we go. One thing nice about the later trucks, they now have a hood release underneath the dash, so you got a little more security. People can't get in and steal your batteries or so, so then you just come out here and reach there and there's a release lever right there and here you can see this big uh, 454 engine in there <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's decent it's clean it's, it's not show but it's just been really well maintained as you can see the seat is real good condition in here and this is our electric brake controller that uh, we need a plug in the back to, so you can hook up the trailer brakes. Starts up real good. The dash pad in this truck is very good all the way across here. It all looks good. The wood grain along here looks good. And then we got a, a, uh, your ashtray right there. 
Doesn't look like it's been smoked in it for a while. We got a cigarette lighter right there. Glove box is right there. And that's the information for the radio, it looks like. We got a radio right here. It's an aftermarket radio. Speakers in both doors. Heater controls work good. I'm not sure if you can hear that with this running. There, you can hear the fan running. Now, right here is a switch uh, for the gas tanks from the right or left. And you can see the gauge is going up right now uh, when I switch the tank, so there's more fuel in the left side. And that's all there is to switching the tanks. Windows roll up just nice. They're a little stiff, but not bad. There you go. As you can see, the backup lights work just fine on there. It's a neat truck, I just got to tell you. You got to like this uh, one ton dually pickup. It's great for towing, especially if you got a trailer like this to tow behind it. Let's pop a hubcap off here so you can see what it uh, looks like for the hubs. So you can see the hub here, right here, and you got to twist it to all the way around over here to lock. And when you're done, put it all the way back. And I was told when you put it into lock, you want to go ahead like six feet. And when you uh, want to take it out and return it to the freewheeling side, put it in reverse and back up about six feet. That helps disengage the system. Now with a four-wheel drive, as I understand it, and I probably need to read the instructions, you want to put it in neutral, and with it running, and, and you can push this ahead. And we're in, we're in four low, but we don't have the hubs locked in. But you can see we can move right here a little bit. Oh, I got to put it in gear. See if I put it in gear, we'll 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 go okay. Then there's a uh, neutral, and then you can bring it back into. See, this is where everything's spinning, so you want to shut it off. Then you can bring it back in and then it just works just fine. And we're in, you gotta put it in drive, and you can see we're in gear. So that's four wheel drive and how it works. Got the big square hitch on here, and you can see this thing's welded on and, and bolted on here, so it's good and solid. You can see the floor pan underneath here is uh, the bed, truck bed is real good. And you can see we got, like rusty corrosion there, but it's just, it's surface is not, uh, it's not anywhere have I seen in this uh, pickup that it's uh, any rust in it anywhere. We do have in the tailpipe, there's a couple of bad spots here. The rest of it all forward is all good. This is one monster's rear end in here. Of course, this is a one ton. I mean, look at the drive shaft on this thing. It's incredible. And again, the, the bed on the truck, I was told it's original paint on the top side. It's never been painted or anything. And, and uh, I mean, you can see it's not dented on this side or anything. I mean, it, this, is, this truck has had a good life. This is cover over the saddle tank. And the saddle tank's inside here, same on both sides. And as you can see, all this looks real good. The frame looks good and solid. We haven't cleaned on it. I just rubbed right there a little bit. Out here on the outer edge, it all looks real good. I mean, it doesn't even look like it's ever been reworked or anything along here. If it had damage in there, you would see it. Same up in here. Everything looks just fine. You can see the bottom of the uh, cab here, and it's all real good. The floor pan looks great on there. It just got uh, normal dirt on there. 
And there's your uh, transfer case right here for the four-wheel drive and your catalytic converters right there. And you can see the front part of the cab floor pan all looks good. Same along this rocker, just like I said before, it, it all looks good and solid. I don't see any signs of rust anywhere. Here's the bottom of your transmission right here and the crossover pipe on the, on the exhaust. You can see the bottom here on this uh, 454. We haven't cleaned on it or anything, and this is typical of a lot, how a lot of rigs look like underneath. You never see the underside of most cars because nobody puts them on the hoist to do that. I like to because I want to show you everything I can. Here's, the, of course, the front axle on here is a solid axle on this four-wheel drive. They tell me that these uh, four-wheel drive solid axles are the indestructible. Whether they are or not, I don't know much about four-wheel drives, so you know as much as I do at this point. And it, this is all just like the rest of the underneath. It's uh, good and solid. And I, again, no signs of rust anywhere. I don't see anything like damage or dented in stuff or frame damage or any of that stuff. I think uh, you'll be real happy with this truck. Uh, it's a good solid truck. And we just installed a new battery there. That is not smoke, you see. That's just condensation. It's cold out here. We're going up on I-5 northbound out of Seattle. Give you an idea how this thing goes down the road. I mean, it drives good. Of course, with a 454 in it, you'd expect that. I mean, if you step on it, it's got a lot of weight to get going with the duels and everything on it. It's a good looking truck. You feel like you're a truck, real trucker when you're driving this thing. Now you can check out the other side of this truck. And you can see it's just as good on both sides. It looks, looks good to me. I mean, I like driving it. I haven't driven it very far, but I like the way it drives. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope it was helpful for you to see how clean and nice and how well this thing runs and drives. And if you're interested, make sure you give us a call. Dragers 206-533-9600. Thanks again.